the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady from Anka. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at an error message that can pop up for some users when they're signing into their YouTube channel's Google accounts. The first one is this one here, unable to access a Google product. This is actually my preferred one to, to, to work with because you can actually see what it's about. This is only, this only pops up for users who are using a web browser. The less pleasant one to, to address is this one here. This action isn't allowed. This is for mobile device users. Same problem. Your YouTube channel has very probably been terminated and you're not being told why or, or even that it has been. You're just being told that this action isn't allowed. So in other words, you're not allowed to use YouTube with your Google account because you, the owner, are suspended from YouTube as long as your YouTube channel is terminated. Let's go back to the um, previous one just because it's easier to work with. Um, if you're redirected to this page from a particular product, and this in this case, the product is YouTube, it means that your access to this product has been suspended. Read on for more information. So basically, you've done something which YouTube don't agree with, and therefore they have terminated your YouTube channel, and you then have the option to contact them, contact us, to make an appeal. But in order to make your appeal count, you kind of need to know what it is that you are supposed to have done or have done. So let's look at some of the, the ways that you could do that. Using a web browser, type in your unique channel URL and go to your what is left of your YouTube channel. And you will see a red banner which will give you the reason, the general reason for your YouTube channel's termination. In this case, this particular one has been terminated for multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy against spam, deceptive practice, misleading content, or other terms of service violations. Now, this one is one of the broadest, particularly because of this sort of this last term here, other terms of service violations. The, the problem with this one is that you don't get any warning. Um, it's, it's once it, it can be one strike and you're out. It's, it's, it can be severe. YouTube basically don't mess around with, with this particular one. This one here is a little bit um, softer. It's community guidelines violations. This is where they give you a bit more leeway and you would probably get a warning after your first violation. And they would say, look, you know, behave yourself. Don't, don't go there. This is commonly actions that YouTubers take videos that they upload, comments that they make, in their interactions with the community and the commun other community members perhaps taking um, issue and, and reporting them. Then, of course, we have something like this, nudity and sexual content, and something that is completely separate from any of the other ones is this one here, because this one, claims of copyright infringement, has to do with the law. And this has nothing to do with YouTube. This is solely to do with the law. So YouTube cannot get involved. And this has a completely different way of being addressed from the previous three that I've shown you. There are others, of course, but knowing which one applies to you is, is, is key. So do that. And then once you've got the reason for your YouTube channel's termination, you can use the contact us form if it is to do with non-copyright issues or use one of the two um, options that are available to you if it is to do with copyright. It's really important to understand that this is a process that only you can go through. Only you can appeal your YouTube channel's termination. Nobody on a, on a help forum can do this for you. And anybody who promises you otherwise is, is fooling you, is, is stringing you along. Thank you for listening and goodbye.